Welcome to another edition of Fur Girl Profiles. Today we're taking a big jump back into 1978, The Devil and Daniel Mouse, to take a look at our latest furry girl, Jan Mouse. This is someone talking to you, and it's not just your radio. The speaking roles for this young musician Mouse were performed by Annabelle Kershaw, while all singing roles were performed by Laurel Run. There is a reason they always tell you to read the fine print. The cartoon short is about struggling musician partners Jan Mouse and Daniel Mouse. Oh, wow. No audience again. In an era that was still all about disco and was beginning to gravitate towards rock, Jan and Daniel's music was way out of touch and eventually they are fired from their job. In order to be able to afford groceries, Daniel goes to pawn his instrument, leaving Jan to wander the forest. If I were a rock star, people would listen. Oh, I'd give anything to be a rock star. In Jan's despair, she summoned the devil, who took the form of a record producer. Devil may care music production. Yelly Bob. As expected, he played on Jan's heartstrings, telling her she didn't want stardom badly enough. After signing her life away in blood, a weasel by the name of Weez is assigned to be her manager. After making a deal, Jan unintentionally leaves her partner Daniel behind. As a matter of fact, Daniel is completely isolated from Jan's new life as a rising star. Becoming known to the world as Funky Jan, Jan had finally achieved the fame and fortune she always desired, rising to the top of the charts and becoming the most famous rock star in the world. However, Jan was starting to learn it's lonely at the top without your friend. Nice. Who was that? Nobody important, baby. And unfortunately, there was not enough room at the top for Dan, who was continuously getting excommunicated from Jan's life by Weez. Sometimes I is and sometimes I ain't Just sweet love honey gonna make me fake Jan was now at the height of her rock star career Now rocking out on one of the biggest stages Can you help me find my song? It used to be here Whispering right in my ear And it was at the height of her career the Hellfire Collection Agency came to collect her. What do you want? You, we have a bargain. Jan soon finds herself running for her life. Okay, let me rephrase that. More like running for her soul. After being chased all over town, Jan finds herself back in a familiar position. Back in the forest where this all started. At precisely midnight, the party of the first part. That you agrees to render up her soul now and forevermore. <laughs> no, it's not midnight yet. With time absolutely not on her side, Jan runs back into town seeking help from her friends, who unfortunately weren't the least bit interested in helping her. Sorry, Jan. The union man says you didn't pay your dues. Just as things look bleak for Jan, the sound from a familiar and possible savior came from the other side of the tree. It was none other than Daniel. Oh, Dan. Oh, I'm so glad to see you. <laughs> he can't take you. I won't let him. I'll think of something. You have to admire Daniel's courage, even though a lot of people will say this is a really stupid decision. Needless to say, the devil came and Daniel stood ready to defend Jan. I challenge the contract. I demand a trial. This is a democratic forest. Daniel got his trial on three conditions. That the devil got to supply his own judge, his own jury, and worse, if they were to lose the trial. I get both of you. Between a contract signed in blood and all advantages stripped from them, Jan and Daniel were looking hellbound until Daniel managed to find a loophole in the trial. It says right here you have to have 12. 
That's right. If no one cheats the devil on a technicality. But it just goes to show, he can cheat you out of your technicality. Daniel, however, did have one more trick up his sleeve. The power of music. You had a chance to be a star in your own dream. Now you find that reality is better than it seems. Daniel and Janet's music managed to cause an uproar that pulled everyone to their side. That and the mixture of an idiot being the judge. Jan and Daniel managed to win the trial. Though it was not going to save Weez from the barbecue later. I'll tend to you later. From now on, no more Mr. You did it, Dan! We did it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Fred Girl Profile's Jan Mouse. Please, if you like the video, help a brother out and hit that little like button. And remember to subscribe for future videos. And I'll see you next time.